UCU. Uh, the Birmingham Regional Office has asked me to come here today to speak on their behalf. And I just want to say just a couple of things to add to what the other speakers have said. I'm here primarily to represent lecturers, lecturers at the University of Gloucestershire and in the region. We're not militant people. We're not normally people who go on strike. It's actually very difficult to get people to go on strike. But most of our campuses are empty today. And that's a very important sign to be sending out to the government. Let's not forget that pensions are deferred pay. We seem to forget that when we entered this profession on a certain contract, part of that was our pension. They're putting off trying to pay us what we're due. In real terms, we all know our salaries are going down year on year. As inflation goes up, as pay freezes exist, and yet they want to raid the pensions as well. We know it's not a problem of our making, and yet we are, of course, being asked to pay disproportionately. In this age of uh, electronics, I've got to refer to my notebook now. Which <laughs> A colleague of mine told me that when he entered the profession, that he was a previous generation, he got the same pay as an MP. I can honestly tell you now that the median pay, the middle pay of a lecturer is about half that of an MP, which just shows what's happened in real terms. It's the MPs, we all know, that have got the gold line pensions. After 20 years, they get the same pension as a public sector worker would have to get for working 40 years. It's the MPs that have the great big expense accounts. We don't have that. So please do continue to support this, and thanks very much for coming today.